Hello, welcome to another Tonalist Landscape oil painting demonstration. This is your painter in residence, M. Francis McCarthy. And the painting I'm bringing you today is called The Road West. It's a four by six and I painted it, I'm pretty sure I painted this last week or just maybe the end of the week before. I'm really stoked with this painting. I know it's very small, but I'm so proud of things I've done here. First off, starting with weirdness in the uh, photos composition that I was able to reconcile. Now, some of you may have seen, I uh, did a live stream yesterday and uh, I was just me by myself. I, and I could have been because I wasn't going out in public. I don't know. Just bear with me on that. I'm going to be doing it on a weekly basis and uh, you know the videos will be up for people whether they're uh, able to tune in while I'm live or not. I, I really have no clue what the best time to do that sort of thing is. But um, And I can't really paint, at least not right now, on uh, those video streams. Although I have some ideas about some sort of uh, loose painting I could do. So it'll be a work in progress, just like my whole, if you look at my, uh, my older videos from 10 years ago, you'll see uh, they were quite crude in comparison to what we're doing now. So I'm all into in incremental, um, you know, incrementally uh, fixing things. So we are working with uh, such an awesome color. I am so stoked with it. I really love it. It's called Mars Violet. It's from Windsor Newton. And it's PR 101, which is like the same pigment as like a burnt sienna. But you can see it's like a little more purple and it is incredibly opaque which is very different from the PR 101 uh, burnt sienna that I've been using for years so very interesting uh, pigment and I really love the color and it was the inspiration for doing this painting and doing this painting the way I did it and I didn't meant well I couldn't mention this in the members area because the members area is just a, a live recording of the painting session but hopefully if you're a member and you're tipping on over and checking this out too sorry I didn't have a pre-mix session I didn't take that approach on this painting I just mixed as I went and uh, that's one reason why you'll see the painting go off the side is I sort of thought oh maybe I'll pop the reference up but uh, I didn't remember to do that and uh, it's okay you can, you can see the reference at the beginning of the members area video now we're going to have kind of a long ad coming up and just please be patient with me. I've been working for like three, maybe four months now on these video courses and they're up. So I have to do my best to get them out to um, people that might be interested in them, which might not be very many people. I don't know. Um, I will say this, like uh, the prices have been adjusted. I don't have much sense of this, you know, you got to forgive me, but it was a, a Herculean amount of effort, that's what I will say. Oh, by the way, the color I'm coming in with in the painting here, that's a little Mars black, and I was uh, struggling to get a clean black there, but it all turned out to be really groovy. I'm so proud of this painting because of the way that I was able to simplify the shapes and the colors work with like large blocks and patches and I just think it's been slightly abstracted but uh, I personally think it works very well I think the colors look great and it's all sort of pivoting off of that um, wonderful Mars Violet from uh, Windsor Newton uh, anyway uh, you're gonna see a long video and I'll find ways to shorten it I you know I'm a one-man band here but I wanted to be able to show in in my ad <clears throat> the real-time uh, courses, the pace of it. Uh, I tried speeding it up and that's not really getting the idea across. So, um, And you'll see we have a lovely, uh, wonderful female narrator uh, doing the ad. I thought it'd be a nice break for you. So just bear with me on that. You can skip it if you want or, uh, you know, just enjoy it. I think it, it looks, you know, it's a good ad, I think. Anyway, it's coming up, sorry. And, oh, what I wanted to say is, uh, so yeah i'm not gonna be popping out any kind of discount codes on these videos because they they're up for years but if you join the members area you'll see on this video there's already a discount for members 20 percent 
yeah, I think you can quote me there. It's 20%. So for $6 a month, you're getting 20% off the video courses. It's pretty good. The other uh, place you'll see discount codes will be uh, joining my mailing list. And I'm finally going to get my act together today, which is Sunday, and get that, that mail out to everyone. So look for that if you're on the mailing list. And uh, <laughs> look in your spam folder. It's a funny world. Anyway, here's the ad. Master Landscape Oil Painting with M. Francis McCarthy's new series of video courses. Do you love oil painting but find it challenging and want to improve? Many people tell Mike they find mixing colour to be challenging. His first course is Limited Palette Magic. It's all about learning colour. It simplifies and furthers your comprehension of colour mixing using only five pigments. Next we have Extended Palette Magic. Mike uses five colors from the Winton set for the first video in his series. This course uses four more pigments from that set, taking your color mixing abilities to a higher level. The capstone of the series is Tonal Landscape Magic. Here Mike uses his full studio palette, painting at a larger size and reveals many of his best tips for getting an excellent tonal and expressive quality in your landscape paintings. Also available is Mike's book, Landscape Painting the Toneless Way. It's an excellent oil painting resource, a book you can have on the bench right next to you as you're pursuing your own landscape painting journey. Prices for the individual videos, bundles and the book are at landscapepainter.co.nz. Visit the website today and thank you for your support. Be sure to join Mike's mailing list to receive an extra discount on these courses and many other excellent benefits. So that's my ad and uh, thank you so much to the, uh, the lovely person that did my narration there. I thought it'd be nice to have a little break from my voice, you know, and uh, you know, I've always been pretty relaxed about uh, hawking my wares on this uh, place and uh, you know I'm still trying so you, if, the, if the ads annoying uh, you know, just skip it and get into my normal bit of burbling I I am really glad that I can pre uh, was it the word? premiere this ad with such a, a, a good painting um, although honestly I have no idea why some videos do better on the channel than others it's it's not completely mysterious. It is somehow tied to the quality of the paintings. I, I really don't know. I don't care either because uh, I'm painting, I'm sharing, and I'm trying to teach. And uh, if you want to learn oil painting, you check out those video courses in the book. And uh, if you like what I do, you'll you'll have a really good insight into it. Yeah. Anyway, um, so one of the reasons I didn't do <coughs> pre-mixing here was uh, first of all, I was kind of in a hurry. I only had an hour, so I thought that would save a little time. Also, uh, pre-mixing is great in that um, it's a way of like a, interacting with the reference image without the do or die of actually popping paint onto the board. Um, and here you see I found a, a way to go a little bit darker. I don't think I got that dark on this, although the overall effect's pretty dark. Uh, anyway, I didn't do it here because uh, it was a quick and immediate painting, and I'm really stoked with it. And I think I'm going to be paint, painting this again large um, uh, relatively soon. I'll also, I had done some... Uh, so I had painted the scene many many years ago and that painting was okay and then I've used basically uh, where this bit of landscape to do another painting where we're a little further down the road <clears throat> that's been quite successful um, this one was less so in fact I have a box of like 10 by 14s of, of paintings that are good but they have like things I wasn't spotting with the composition and that's one of the reasons why um, I was uh, so you know uh, I think I've got enough time into the end of this video I you always hear me talking about composition being so important and, and maybe it's 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 difficult to teach but 
Um, I've been reading these illustration books. I'm uh, reading one by one named Al Biggs. I think his name is Al. I don't remember his first name. Hopefully it'll come to me. But it's an awesome book. And uh, all of these illustrators back in the day, they had a rough sketch that was oftentimes given to them by the art director or they had to do their own. Um, all of them are hard. All of these brilliant guys that are making a lot of money as illustrators are working really hard on their roughs. For me, the rough is a two-step process. And it starts with the manipulation of the photo in Photoshop. If you tune into that live stream, you see I spent an hour, just about an hour, working on that. Um, now, I think it went a little slower because of the live stream. Um, but also that photo I was working on had some cool trees, but like almost everything else with it needed to be changed. I had to add a path. I had to add a place. What I love about the new Photoshop is that you can actually install like little destinations in your paintings and uh, you don't always need something like that but this this scene did hopefully you'll check it out and um, yeah I know a lot of people don't care about Photoshop they don't want to learn Photoshop but I think it's one thing we can do uh, to really improve our paintings is and and to improve our instincts for composition so I'm looking at these photos now and I'm remembering see I'm going coming Mike Uncle Mike always comes back around I'm remembering these boxes of paintings that are almost good in my uh, home studio up in the uh, storage a bit there and where I failed uh, compositionally and it didn't obviously since I threw everything I had at the painting as I was doing it many of these are like five six years old um, I, I wasn't catching these compositional issues uh, I was just doing my best to paint the scene, so I have good brush fracture, I've got good light, I've got, uh, you know, everything else going right, but uh, in this particular scene when I painted it before, you see that bit of grass we're kind of painting on now? That was really long. It was too long, and so all of these, I call them intervals, all these distances and gaps in your painting, like the space between uh, the trees and the sky, uh, either either trees in here, really critical like in the reference image I believe uh, the tree does not go up off the frame but uh, because it's so close I take it right off all of these uh, relationships they have to be learned really through trial and error and that's why I'm always encouraging people to do a lot of paintings but your paintings could be and this is one of the things I maybe want to try and get into in um, a future live stream is where I'm taking on the uh, the photo and just doing a quick underpainting level type painting, you know, um, very quick and rough. And I might even be able to pull it off digitally. I don't know. Um, I'll have to dig up my tablet. I'm a little bit excited about it, to be honest, even though I didn't have any any uh, people show up for the live stream itself. I'm, I'm interested in... Um, sharing my thinking about this and trying to teach more about it uh, as a as a modern painter in the modern era you and there we utilized uh, this ai stuff in the way that's positive as as a support as a reference aid which isn't much different from what these illustrators are doing in the past except they were going through magazines and clipping them out and they had a room full of file cabinets and they had to try and keep it all organized but when they had an assignment you know uh, so they had a covered wagon in it they went to their uh, their reference library and hopefully they had a picture of a covered wagon you know but uh, in our case we can just type in a prompt covered i'm not painting covered wagons but you get what i'm saying anyway uh thanks so much for joining me today thanks for your patience with my ad and if you're interested in those videos uh you know the, uh, they're actually priced very reasonably and there's bundles that bring the prices down to like next to uh, not cheapest chips how about we'll say that um, as far as uh, discount codes and things you know you can snag one uh, by joining the members area um, and uh, watching this video you'll see one streams uh, across as the ad goes it's good for two weeks and the better though is join the mailing list because I'm getting that going today 
and uh, that mail will be going out and I'm sorry I apologize for those of you on the mailing list that I've been you know um, uh, I'm trying to get it all done anyway until they come back with another video for your edification and enjoyment do me a favor do me a solid take good care of yourself your family all your loved ones stay out of trouble and God bless you and your family fight the power